Okay, so uh, I think we are, for all intents and purposes, set up and ready to go uh, for this game that literally was released as an April Fool's joke, apparently. <laughs> But that means that it's perfectly in my roundhouse. I love stuff that comes out on April 1st. I can't be Ash Ketchup. I... You know what's really sad, Alex? I can't make my name Ash Ketchup in this game. It won't let me use that many letters. Um, name yourself Monica. Yeah, okay. Just Monica. Which Is that bro a frog? <laughs> is that like yeah that's a frog is that like um it's it, it that's like a tree that's frog that's that one pokemon it's that one pokemon frogomon um... <laughs> homeroom is as lively as ever rando is practicing his skin spin kicks in the corner forsburn is scribbling furiously in his notebook and there's something special in the air too something, something like something like oh boy oh god Oh god. Love. The homecoming dances tonight. Oh, it's love and technicolor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. The homecoming dances tonight, and I still haven't asked anyone out. I must. How dare you, Nathan? Why didn't you ask anyone else out to the uh, homecoming dance? Well, I don't even know who my options are. I'm the new kid in town, I say, not really knowing <laughs> if I'm supposed to be. There are so many options. Are there? So many people I could ask. Still, it feels like something. Are they, are they really people? Or someone. Well, I think that that goes into a whole conversation about personhood. <laughs> Silvano swoops enthusiastically, drawing a handful of laughs. Maple puts her hands on her hips and sighs. Oh, kids. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your input, Silvanos. <laughs> So I was saying, it's come to my attention that some of my more ardent supporters believe that I should be class president for life. Wow. Okay. A dictator in training. I appreciate your faith in me. Is she like the Monica for this game? Um, I don't know. We're gonna find out. They did say this is a psychological horror, so prepare yourself. But I think that might have been a joke. I therefore declare that we are holding a vote. All in favor of me, Maypole, becoming class president for life, say yay! <laughs> the class buzzes with murmurs and whispers, but nobody opposes her. <laughs> Maybe I want to. As I suspected, nope. the yays have won. Oh, sorry, I can't even do that. As I suspected, the yays have won. <laughs> I am, from here on, the fairly and democratically elected class president for life, Maypole. <laughs> I thank all- I thank you all for your love and support. <laughs> Carry on. Okay, so far she's my favorite character. <laughs> so I got, um, that Sylvanas, okay. He looks, uh, great. He looks like he just came out of the 80s. <laughs> He's got, like, the ripped vest and everything. We got Forsburn. Forsburn? Are you playing a boy or a girl? Well, I'm Monica. Just Monica. I think that you 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 have open options here, because then there's Zetterburn, who's the fire lion thing. Uh, oh, okay. Well, the main dictates that it's probably a boy. Yeah. Uh, Italis, who's a polar bear. Let's see, we've got uh, Eliana, who's a... Uh, a uh, snake? I think that I I think she's a snake. Maybe it's a slug. You should go for the slug. <laughs> Maybe I will. We've got Raster. It's a bird. Maple, of course, my favorite. Just Maple. We've got uh, Absa, who I can't even see. Uh, let's see. We've got Crag, who apparently is some kind of a beetle thing. We've got uh, Rano, and then we've got Orcane. I don't know. Orcane seems pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> I like that like, it gives you an out <laughs> with never mind. <laughs> no, okay, so so what's up? <laughs> Told you. What up, G? <laughs> Look, I'm a snake. 
Um, is she, snake? It, you're, so you're a snake handler now? <laughs> Can you believe that, what Maple that? Monica? What a shameless power grab! She's as crooked as a two-dollar tuning <laughs> fork. Is that a phrase? <laughs> Uh, I guess so. I'm kind of surprised you didn't say tuna fork, though. Oh, that would have been a really good one. I think she just really has a thing for school spirit. I would not have said that. <laughs> they are mischaracterizing me in this game. Are you, are you blind? Are you deaf? Are you so totally unable to understand rudimentary sociopolitical maneuvers to not know that she is a power-hungry robber baron looking to thieve the crown out from under our very noses? I don't think I like Eliana. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You, you need to start reading between the layers, Monica. <laughs> Listen to the writing on the wall. <laughs> Yeah, of course, Bird. Oh, man. Wanna hear some of my dark and disturbing thoughts? <laughs> Hell yes, I do, Force Bird. I like the uh, pentagram on his yes! shoulder. I like that he's a high school student. <laughs> my shadow is the only part of me that's real. Wow. Wanna hear another one? Oh. If you think I'm saying no, you don't know me very well. <laughs> These tears won't put the fire out in my heart. <laughs> oh. Is that legal? Hello, DC. Hello. Oh, hey. Nathan's reading uh, gothic poetry right now. From a hyena. So. Awesome. Yeah. It stabs me from the inside of my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Like stabbing knives or needles, and it hurts. Wow. This is gonna be the person you pick, I hope, Nathan. This oh, poetry is speaking right to your soul. He's he's a front runner, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that he and Yuri met at some point. <laughs> How stupid and ignorant you are, and yet I cannot curse your name. For if only you had a fraction of a brain sample, you might understand, my dearest brother, that I still love you. Wow. Want to hear another one? Hell yes, I do! <laughs> Every day, I die 100 million deaths. Every day, I frown 100 million frowns. I think of the pain of the children all over the wretched world, and it makes me cry. A lot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Thanks for listening! <laughs> Silvano sits as a disc, lifting his backpack up and down like a barbell. Oh my god, he is the 80s personified. The zipper is slightly down. It's filled with weights. He gives me a wolfish grin and the most broish nod I've ever seen as I approach. <laughs> Danger <just> zone! zone. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking. They just verbified the word bro. I, I that is impressive work. You're looking pretty swole, son. <laughs> <laughs> like that the words pretty swole are dancing. I love it. Thanks, Monica, and I'm all natty, too, except for the roids. I'd say I'm 99, 90, 10% natty. <laughs> <laughs> Already better than Doki Doki Literature <laughs> Club. Like, if you've ever seen Future Man, this is just basically Wolf. Uh, and it's all thanks to my proprietary blend, baby. With these bad boys, it'll only take you, oh, I don't know, two, three weeks max to get as shredded as me. You want to give it a shot? Jeez, should <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Sylvanas. What's in it? Look, I can't tell you the ingredients for legal reasons, <laughs> but I can tell you what they rhyme with. <laughs> I give him another skeptical look. This time, he seems to get the message. Okay, just spill it. Who are you asking? Um... Oh, I knew it hit who it is. It's the new girl, isn't it? Who's the new girl? 
Uh, oh! Is it you? No. Someone I have not met yet. And Oh, yep, you're playing a girl because you entered your name <laughs> as a... As if on cue. Oh, no, no, this is somebody else. As if on cue, the doors bursts open and Claren steps through. She gives a strange, almost suspicious glance into the hallway before shutting the door and slinking to her desk. Okay, maybe it's Claren. She does seem pretty cool. Well, go get her, tiger. I find it ironic that you're saying tiger. Or, uh, whatever. Are, are you a tiger? Well, I don't it, think he got to pick. You, no, you're just, you're just, it doesn't say. But also, I will note that it says, go get her, tiger, or, uh, whatever you are, now's your shot. <laughs> so, I think that they are admitting, I don't know what you are. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. Huh. So, you could be a unicorn. I can be a unicorn. In my head, I'm a unicorn. Oh. What? Oh, wow. You are kind of cool. Oh, hey, uh, Monica, right? I'm still trying to get all the names down. I remember yours for some reason, though. Heh. Okay. This is how people become furries. Spooky! This is how Nathan becomes a furry. <laughs> it's all good. Hi. This will go down in history as that moment. Where are you from? That's a good, honest question. Phew! Claren does a quick glance around at her watch and scratches the back of her head. Did she not know where she's from? Oh, I... Uh, here and there, you know, I guess I, uh, travel a lot. I'm a traveler. So I... travel. <laughs> That's cool. So, uh, anywhere in particular... Well, that's classified, but okay, maybe I can trust you. You know, this this is going to sound weird, so bear with me. Uh, but I'm actually from... Let's see if it's bear. Maybe I'm a bear. But... Oh, suddenly the PA system cuts in. A roaring, tinny screech that sounds like it should be coming from, from an elephant. <laughs> a cyborg elephant! <laughs> Oh, the speaker looks like a cyborg elephant! It's the principal Loxodoxidoo. Loxodoxidoo. I love Loxodoxidoo. Yeah. Loxodoxidoo. First period is beginning in five minutes. Please report to your first period classroom in an orderly and pacified manner. <laughs> oh darn, class is starting. I'll talk to you later, Monica. See ya. Aren't we already in bye. class? You should have named your person Felicia, that way they could say bye, Felicia. But, see you later, Felicia. You know, the thing about it I'm confused by is, aren't we already in class? Okay, I'll try the whale. Hey, hey whale. Hey Monica, check this out. Okay. Orcane vanishes into thin air. Moments later he appears, sopping wet. This is the weirdest foreplay yeah, I've ever seen. <laughs> I just teleported <laughs> through a toilet. <laughs> 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 That's gross, Orcane! <laughs> he disappears again! Moments later, he, he appears, covered in suds! I just teleported through the shower! <laughs> oh, well, alright then! <laughs> cool stuff, Orcane! <laughs> I welcome our cyborg elephant overlords. Proceed to first period immediately. <laughs> John Connor. <laughs> Man, I'm wiped. I got none left in the tank. He kind of looks like Chandler from Friends. Raster. For your information, fire breath. Oh, wow, that's a burn. I was out last night with a little ladybird. Ladybird? Absa. You sure it wasn't a ladybug? Oh, man. They are getting... Ladybird can't can kill this hill's dog. Yeah, well, they're getting catty, I'm telling you. And... No, they're getting rammy. <laughs> you want a ram? 
Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, a slam dunk! Priceless! I <laughs> the polar bear has a hockey jersey on! Isn't that fun? He's got so many tricks with the chicks. Illusions, more like. I don't get it. Did anybody? What's up with all these hipster <laughs> high school students. This feels like it was uh, an episode of Saved by the Bell that they were too afraid to air. <laughs> Did anybody? Yeah, because everyone was doing furry stuff. That's why. <laughs> And then they finally realized what was actually in Jesse's caffeine pills. Hallucinogens? <laughs> yes. Or the roids? Yes. Well, if, if uh, Sylvanas is to be believed, that was probably the same thing he was taking. If there's a point in this game where Sylvanas just starts going, I'm so excited, <laughs> I'm going to lose it. Did anybody study... Should have taken that triple powder. <laughs> no, never. Did anybody study for the test today? <laughs> oh, we actually do that. <laughs> Whoa. Nope. There's a test. Um. <laughs> Boy, this is where uh, playing the game would have been really helpful. Watertown is the blank capital of Ether. Merchant. Uh, probably Merchant. I'd go with Merchant. I want to. I want to say. What do you think? Yeah, DC. Any thoughts? <laughs> Well, out of those words, I like lobster the best. I was gonna go with lobster <laughs> too. Okay, so lobster. Yeah. If anyone in the in the, oh, uh, in the chat I wants was... to pipe in and pick a pick a thing, Nathan will pick whatever you choose. For the record, we tried lobster and it said no. <laughs> what event caused the air armada to form? Mass air shortage. <laughs> Okay, how would that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Birds kept stealing people! <laughs> it's Birdemic all over again. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The Ethereum Forest Fire are the founding of the Water Trading Company. I... Oh man, I wanted to be that Birds kept stealing people. <laughs> Damn it. I feel a light tap on my shoulder. <laughs> I can't imagine why. You're doing terribly. Hey, Monica, I'm having some trouble with this one. You wouldn't know the answer, would you? Yeah, it's... <laughs> 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 yeah, it's birds kept stealing people. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Nah, I'm sure of it, definitely. Who cares anyway, it's just school. <laughs> you know, Monica, I admire your cavalier attitude toward the artificial strictures of the education establishment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Enough dawdling. Idle minds are the devil's discotheque. <laughs> so get your books <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Maple's a good choice here, I think. Yeah. Ma ma Maple uh, basically just single-handedly strong-armed the class into making her class president for life. So I feel like she's strong and assertive. Um, ma Monica... Are you super excited to do a favor for me, or what? <laughs> Damn it. What? <laughs> I'm campaigning again, Monica. You can't let the trail run cold. Not in this student political environment. I didn't know there was a student political environment. Oh, Monica. Your damning ignorance would be adorable if it wasn't also ruining the world. <laughs> of course there is an environment in student politics, and it's brutal. Only the most ruthless and ravenous can survive the many trials and tribulations us student politicians face. What noble public servants we are. I actually... Keep in mind, saying no could be considered a willful act of sedition. 
<laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want seditious material. <laughs> Excellent, Monica. Excellent. Here you go. It's just five flyers. You should be able to distribute them in no time. All right. What happens? Oh, Monica. You really, really shouldn't have. Oh, that's going to come back to bite me, I can tell. Oh, man. Me neither. I try. I mean, I tried. No, really, I did. But I was hyped out of my gourd after taking my pre-workout caffeine. So I got to this part where they were riding this magic whale over the rainbow, and then they found this leprechaun who taught them the secret of being dead from cancel. Well, I think that's what happened. I mean, I was seeing wild colors and disembodied arms lifting kettlebells, so who knows? <laughs> hey, Rano. I always knew this day would come. The fateful final showdown between good and evil, light and dark. <laughs> they say light and dark are two sides of the same coin, eh? Me? I say the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Now come. Face my dojo kick. Rano suddenly tosses his book into the air and sends it hurtling through the classroom with a glorious spin kick. I have to answer this, nice dojo kick, but can it compare to my flaming soul ancestral dragon uppercut? I grab the nearest book I can find, an attendance chart on the teacher's desk, and toss it into the air. Time seems to slow down as I draw my fist back for the attack. I can feel the force of a thousand generations of my ancestors guiding my hand, even the one-celled <laughs> organisms we evolved from millions of years ago. Static electricity cracks through the room and all goes silent. I thrust my fist at the book, bending space and time, upending all life and matter as my fist, now glowing with primal energies, collides with the book. Man, that should be a game. Crack! The book explodes. Papers scattering haphazardly all over the room. Why did I do that? Did you just blow it? Did you just blow the frog up? I did not. Oh god! Oh crap! Did I blow the frog up? <laughs> no! No! Oh no! I didn't blow the frog up. We're good. Senpai. Actually, you just I call you senpai. Yeah. Actually, I was just quoting the reading homework. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, dr pretty dramatic stuff, huh? I like the part where they did karate chops. <laughs> oh yeah, the reading homework. Of course. Karate. Oh yeah, karate. <laughs> well, we, we know you have hands and Super Saiyan powers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to figure out what I actually am by the end of this. Absa sits at her desk chewing absentmindedly at her pencil eraser. Goats will really eat anything, won't they? She perks up when I walk by. <laughs> oh, Monica, this is kind of embarrassing, but, um, could I ask you a favor? Everyone freaking wants favors. <laughs> sure, I guess. Please don't tell anyone, but I accidentally ate my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally the whole homework. <laughs> <laughs> that book just looked delicious. Can I look at yours? Uh-oh. Homework? <laughs> you ate your homework? It just looks so delicious. The delicate curves of my cursive. The sensitive but firm loops. The off-white college ruled paper. I couldn't control myself, Monica. <laughs> well, well, I guess you are a goat. <laughs> So, um... I like the goat girl. Yeah. She got some, uh, she got some stuff going on. Get to ramen is what you're saying? Is that what you're trying to get at? Yeah, get to ramen that goat girl. <laughs> so, um... She seems horny. Uh, so, um, would you mind... Would you mind if I just looked at yours real quick? It'll be two seconds, I promise. Is there one where I could say, I, yeah, I ate mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Absa's eyes flutter and she absentmindedly bites her lower lip. Oh, I am totally in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Monica, I didn't realize you had such a refined palate. <laughs> 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 well, 
Well, I guess I'm gonna try to hammer something out real fast. Thanks for listening. I'm sure we're all itching to get to our English presentations. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. English presentations? So we'll begin without delay. Orkane, would you like to start us out? Sorry, Mr. Kai, I'll have to go tomorrow. My human ate my homework. <laughs> <laughs> What's scarier than a dating simulator? Public speaking. The class stares like feel like a million tons. I can feel their judgment. They know I didn't do the reading. Well, looks like I'll just have to wing it. Because <laughs> there's a bird. Maybe if I talk about what my friends told me before class, I can make it through this. Oh, God, I'm screwed. This story, like all stories, begins with a beginning. And like all beginnings, this beginning begins with, um, hungry goats eating everything they see. <laughs> Two, dojo kicks. Okay, so, re oh, that's right. Rano might have given me an idea. Dojo kicks. Powerful, powerful dojo kicks. After a grueling journey, our heroes had to contend with... <laughs> um, Crag Fair, just Crag Fair. <laughs> Anime, or, oh no, Sylvanos gave me the answer. Magic whales flying over the rainbow and leprechauns. <laughs> I'm so glad I talked to him. Overall, the moral of the story is, the real treasure is the treasure we find alone. <laughs> The real treasure is the treasure we find along the way. <laughs> it's either that or homework is for the week. <laughs> that was. Mr. Kai pauses for a moment to ruminate. I can feel a ba bead of sweat start to trickle down my forehead. You could cut the tension in the air with a dojo kick. <laughs> I'm seeing a pattern. The most creative interpretation of Animal Farm <laughs> I've ever seen, Monica! <laughs> Well done! <laughs> you get an A-plus for your presentation! <laughs> Man, I, I like missed how you it. got an A-plus. I got an A-plus! I, I missed so much from that book! The poster has been vandalized with a cruel drawing of an elephant trunk affixed to Maple's nose. <laughs> Under it, the phrase, May pull, won't pull, our strings anymore. <laughs> this was definitely the work of Eliana. Suddenly, Maple's head jerks in my direction. <laughs> you! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you had the flyers. You put them up. You better have an explanation for them. <laughs> um, Eliana must have stolen them. <laughs> Tossing Eliana to the bus. Eliana must have stolen them from my locker. This is definitely her handiwork. You didn't put these posters up? No. Interesting, Monica. Very interesting. All right. I'm willing to believe you. Oh, great. Are you, though? If, Monica, if you do something to prove to me that you aren't in cahoots with that purple wretch. <laughs> sure. You want me to switch her milk with glue or something? <laughs> <laughs> There's a nurse at this school, right? Jeez, jeez, Monica, that's a bit disgusting. No, I was thinking something more psychological, like maybe tell her that her face is small. All right, sure. Yeah, a small face like that. <laughs> wow, that's a burn. How dare your face be so small and proportionate to the rest of your body? Brr. All right, sure, I can do that. <laughs> Okay, so I've got to be some kind of an animal, right? Because they don't let humans in here. So I've got to be something. I sit down at a workstation next to Aliana, who slowly hunts and pecks keys with her face. It looks extremely <laughs> uncomfortable. 
<laughs> she gives me an exasperated <laughs> look. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> oh, I think I heard about that. Isn't Monica going to ask? Absence tantalizing rumor is cut off when the class door slams open and Professor Swiftwing stumbles ponderously inside. Okay, this better be a bird or I don't know what to do with it. He insists we call him a professor even though he only has an associate's degree from Air Armada Community College. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> and in the meantime, I run the football team. <laughs> the soccer team. I just flew in from the fire capital and boy or my whatever <laughs> he looks like he's about to explode in rage but somehow wills himself to hold back <laughs> today isn't the day <laughs> don't speak to me don't look at me just play the darn computer game <laughs> <laughs> and form your own darn groups i don't care who you partner with not today <laughs> Wow, the teachers here are unqualified. <laughs> teams. <laughs> Maybe this is my shot to chat up my crush. Oh, wow, they're on the screen now. Um, <laughs> have I decided who I like? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I, I could have had that chance to, talk, to get more dark disturbing. Oh, my God. Loxos. That's the... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Are these Beckys and Johnnies who teach me to let my freak flag fly? No one's saying that to Eliana. I was already doing that, Becky. You don't like my freak flag, Johnny? Because my freak flag makes your freak flag look like garbage. Because I actually put work into my freak flag. Because I am a genuine freak. Not some sociopath looking for freak sympathy points <laughs> with this girl. I don't get sympathy. I get sat on and stepped on. You're a snake. And spat on. But do you see me complaining? Yes, a lot. Do you see me? Do you see me running to the principal, naming names? Never. <laughs> because I have integrity. Something these hacks will never understand. And it's why they will fail. And it's why their system will fall <laughs> down with this system of lies. <laughs> down, down with the endless student president Maple. Oh dear. Down with the endless principal Loxodont. Huff, huff, huff. <laughs> Sorry for all the screaming, Monica. <laughs> student politics really rile me up. <laughs> You and me, Monica, we really stuck to that tree dw tree dweller, didn't we? Yeah. And the best part is, we totally got away with it. <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, I kind of had to sell you out. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> Maple came for me, so I had to deflect some blame. Plus, you did do it. And it was your idea. Monica, I can't believe you would betray me like this. I thought we were gonna start a revolution together. <laughs> Don't speak to me anymore, Monica. I do not converse with those I cannot trust. Good day, sir. And good life. So am I a sir? I guess I'm a sir. A surprise history <laughs> test. An English presentation for a book I didn't read at a computer lab. And I haven't even gotten to the hardest part. Asking someone to the dance. Attendance. So, uh, you're. <laughs> who are you asking? You know, I heard a rumor going around about you and Bradshaw. <laughs> 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 who the hell is Bradshaw? <laughs> uh, 
ha ha ha. I'm just jagging your chain. Really, though, I've heard some things going around the grapevine, amigo. Or, uh, is it amiga? I'm not doing so caliente in Spanish class. <laughs> this is it. It's time to do it. It's time to finally ask someone to do the dance. But who's it going to be? I thought you were getting on great with Claren. Oh, actually, the, the goat did bite their lip. That's right. I was doing real well with the goat. I, I, I feel like I didn't really even give Craig a chance. But I think... I think yeah, I think you're looking at Claren or the or, or, Absa. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Ha I, th I think I'm gonna have to go with Absa because um, you know we both share our our interest in uh, paper culinary arts. Did you manage to pass any of your classes? Eh, not quite. I am shocked. Anyway, I was actually coming over to ask you if you wanted to go to the dance with me tonight. <laughs> Monica, let me tell you something. I cannot date a brick. Do you understand? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I cannot talk to a stone. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> That um, sass is on point. <laughs> no. She's on fucking fire. <laughs> it's a metaphor, Monica. Maybe if you paid more attention in English class, you'd have the slightest grasp of what I'm saying here. <laughs> oh, the broken hearts in the background. Oh my god. So, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying no, Monica. I'm saying no in the most obnoxious way I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is like your actual like this dating is, life right here. This is what would have actually happened. <laughs> oh. Why? This is like the most Nathan ending you could have gotten. <laughs> <laughs> because you're a fool, Monica, and I can't take you seriously. Please leave me. I have studies to attend to. <laughs> Dang. Absa sure is good just... at making me feel inferior. Too bad that just makes me like her even more. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most Nathan ending ever. Oh well, looks like I'm skipping the dance this year, just like I did last year and the year before and the year before that. <laughs> 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 And so ends the game. <laughs> Hour and a half, and Nathan doesn't get a date. <laughs> and somehow, somehow that seems to make sense. <laughs> okay, wait a second here. Now I'm curious if you can actually go to the dance at all. Let's, all right. I didn't actually end up insulting Eliana like I said I would. But I'm sure that's not such a big deal to Maple. Sure. Um, well, yeah, it is. Monica, <laughs> tell me right now <laughs> what wicked thing you said to that slippery witch in that stupid hat. <laughs> oh, you mean yep. Eliana? I actually didn't get a chance to insult her like you asked. Monica! Are you freaking kidding me? Well, we just didn't cross paths. <laughs> God damn it. Hear this, Monica. I am going to cook up some major punishments for both you and your serpentine friend. But first and foremost, <laughs> for the crimes you have committed today, you will both be banned from the dance tonight. No mozzarella sticks for either of you. <laughs> she stops wow. off. I didn't even get to ask her to dance. Or she passed several students before reaching the exit. I can't believe it. I blew my shot with maple and I blew my shot with those mozzarella sticks too. It's a shame. <laughs> a real shame. Because I could have gotten really into those mozzarella sticks. 
<laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> No, 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 no. This is the important part. <laughs> oh, hey, Monica. What's up? I tried to speak. What's up? But the lump in my throat gets even bigger. Why is my mouth so dry? I can barely speak. And why is my stomach churning? I went over the lines of my head a million times. This should be so easy. <laughs> Claren gives me a confused look. Yes? Yams. <laughs> Yams? Why did I say yams? Why did that word just come out of my mouth? <laughs> After all the practice, all the planning, the one thing I'm able to say to her is yams. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, Monica, I'm kind of busy. Think we could do this some other time? <laughs> Claire and lifts up her bag, checks her watch, and heads out the door as if we hadn't even spoken. As if I hadn't just walked up to her and said yams. <laughs> <laughs> I sigh, <laughs> slump down into my chair, and close my eyes. <laughs> Looks like I'm skipping the dance this year. <laughs> just like I did last year. And the year before. And the year before. Yams! <laughs> this is the best dating simulator ever! <laughs> I hope. I'm starting to wonder if you can actually do, like, freaking anything <laughs> successfully. I am scared to ask anybody else out. <laughs> nope, you need to start a new one, Bradshaw. Freaking fine. Wouldn't it be amazing if, like, the key was to just call yourself Bradshaw? <laughs> I think you're gonna have a rough time later when you fail that computer test. <laughs> Love is in the air. Love is a lie. I learned that from this game. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right, the homecoming dance tonight is still haven't asked anyone out. Hi there. Hello. I am Craig. <laughs> What's in your bag? My special rocks. Can I hold one? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Craig does not mean to offend. It is just that these are Craig's special rocks. <laughs> if I get turned down by freaking Craig, I am losing it. <laughs> they cannot be loaned or borrowed, and they cannot be shared. What makes them special is what makes them mine, and vice versa. <laughs> Can I see them? Yes, you may gaze upon them. <laughs> Wow, they're very nice rocks. Thank Come you. Look in the satchel. <laughs> Thank you. You may continue to admire them if you like. <laughs> An entrancing luster. Thank you. You may continue to. <laughs> Outstanding cleavage. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Craig quickly closes his backpack and whips around to his seat desk. <laughs> that worked out great. Okay, not talking to the goat. I know that's not that that's a non-starter. I mean, you can talk to the goat as long as you don't fail your fucking classes. <laughs> oh, that's right. She needs me to she needs me to succeed at all my classes, right? Successes for losers. Alex, this isn't working. <laughs> Bradshaw, you are... <laughs> oh, gosh. You are an enigma. A very stupid enigma. <laughs> okay, um... 
Um, well, you gave it a good try with the goat, but <laughs> she, I, mean, I don't think she's that... automatically non-plus towards you. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I... she remembers the previous game. <laughs> <laughs> they, Wouldn't they that remember. be something? Oh yeah, yeah. If this ends up being like, yeah, I remember what you did the last playthrough. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna that, That's something Undertale does, so maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna talk to the polar bear, because <laughs> why not? Just another beautiful day in paradise, am I right, Bradshaw? Oh yeah, it's like I died and went to school. I'm just happy to be here. So many hilarious and wacky classmates. Every day they give me a new nickname. Wanna hear some? Yeah, sure. One was Bare Bones Billy. I love it. <laughs> Want to hear another one? <laughs> one of my favorites was Mr. Gummy Button. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear another one? <laughs> of course. <laughs> my nickname used to be Big Heavy Dumb Idiot. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Want to hear another one? If you think I'm pressing anything but sure, you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> there was farty squeaking school. <laughs> yep, I do. <laughs> Are there? <laughs> one was big time ground and pound. <laughs> okay. I wonder how many these there are. <laughs> That's what I need to know. They can't. Dumb bad bear that nobody likes. <laughs> That's all of them I can remember. Well, you hit it off more with Claren than anyone else so yeah, far. Yeah, I call you dumb. <laughs> the other one's gonna be a brutal dictator. And she didn't ban me from the dance, and of course. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever I, I. Oh, and mozzarella stick. She banned me from mozzarella stick. Alright, let me try Claren. Hey, Claren. What's up? <laughs> and it's Yams. <laughs> Claren sneakily looks down either end of the hallway before slinking into an empty room. Being the creepy voyeur that I am, I decide to follow her. <laughs> <laughs> this game speaks to me in a very personal way I don't appreciate. <laughs> she kneels down. <laughs> and pulls some kind of electrical device out of her backpack, which she plants on the wall. It makes a conspicuous, conspicuous zap sound, and Claren gets up, bolting out of the room and bumping into me. Oof. Ouch. Oops. Uh, hey, Bradshaw. Didn't mean to bump into you. She bashfully rubs the back of her neck. It's no prob. Hey, what... What was that weird device you were using back there? Claren does a startled jump, but quickly composes herself. Oh, that? Ha yeah, that was uh, a cell phone charger. Yeah, just a cell phone charger, that's all. That's not very convincing. She's ninja. <laughs> um, I am going to question some things. <laughs> really? I don't think I've ever seen a charger that you place directly on the wall like that. And doesn't use your cell phone. <laughs> oh, uh, it's a really advanced cell phone. Just came out. Today. Just came out today. <laughs> That's why you've never seen it before. There's an awkward pause. <laughs> well, hey, it was good talking to you, Bradshaw. I've got to run. Maybe we could talk after class. She's definitely up to something, but what? So if I like just talk to her every single time, <laughs> like, am I not scared to talk to her at the end? Proceed to first period immediately. These are all basic questions about the world around you. You should have no trouble answering them. <laughs> yeah, no, I had no trouble. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna no. help. Yeah, can you hit that help oh, button? Was oh, that a thing? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can ask the characters for help. Uh, oh, okay, so, merchant. Okay. Hey, look at that. What is the name Told of the you. military... Told oh. you, merchant. <laughs> well, okay, you know what? I'm gonna ask Craig for some help. It was not Terry Sarabanda. 
Sorry. Which I really wish it was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask... Kings with wings! Oh, Are you know what? Ask the bird. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask the bird. This polar bear is gonna hate me by the time I'm done. Where did bird... Didn't we get the answer right last time? <laughs> no. I, I thought it was because birds kept stealing people. <laughs> when it was right. those animals from the Fire Kingdom burned down the helpless and pathetic Ethereum forest, something had to be done, my man. Fire Kingdom burned down the helpless Ethereum, the Ethereum forest fires. There we go. I feel a light tap on my shoulder. <laughs> hey, Bradshaw, I'm having some trouble with this one. You wouldn't know the answer, would you? Well, I've been asking everybody else. It would seem kind of silly if I said cheating was wrong. It's the... <laughs> no, cheating's wrong. Hello, help me with this yeah, answer, Yeah, by the way, help, help, help. Oh, no, I can't help you. I wouldn't want to, like... <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. You're really resourceful. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't cheat, but you asked. That's really sweet. Enough dawdling. Item mines with the devil's disco deck. Still my favorite line. So get your books and get moving. Oh, hey, Bradshaw. You kind of surprised me. Oh, um, I'm not really doing anything. Just going over notes. <laughs> it looked a little like you were messing around with something on the wall, but okay. Well, okay. Maybe a little. I was messing with the PA system. Just taking a look inside. Why? <laughs> I guess I'm just interested in technology. Uh, okay, what are you really doing? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, you're cool. I think I can tell you what I'm really doing. Suddenly, the PA system crackles. Dying cor car horn of a voice blares through. Psst. This is your merciful and altruistic principal, Loxidone, speaking. Any student Scott tampering with official school equipment will be promptly suspended or worse. If you see, oh, no. If you see anyone acting suspiciously, report them to me immediately. <laughs> Resume learning. <laughs> Crap. This never <laughs> happened, okay? I'll explain it all later. See ya. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Forrest Burton, what you up to? Nothing. Doesn't look like that way to me. What are you writing? Don't look at that. It's... It's not done yet. I guess I just got inspired by the reading assignment and wanted to get some stuff done. That's cool. Think I can get a preview? You mean it? You really want to hear my poetry? Oh, God. Well, I guess it's okay, but... But it's a work in progress. It's not done yet, okay? Okay, here it goes. The cryptic moon hangs. Or broken, tormented soul. Dads just don't get it. So what did you think? My dad doesn't get it either. <laughs> Sometimes I feel completely alone in this world. Adrift at sea without a dad. Except I have one, and he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should send that to your dad sometime. He'd be like, I have a poem for you. And he's like, cool. And you're like, just be like I feel completely alone in this world. I'm drinking tea without a dad except they have one and he sucks. Well, I feel like your dad would just be like, well, I guess you're talking to the goat. Yeah. Bradshaw, I ate a whole bush for breakfast this morning. <laughs> Wow, what do you usually eat for breakfast? Just just a bit of brush usually, but this bush it was delicious. <laughs> I couldn't stop eating it. I started nibbling at it and the next thing I knew I was teething at twigs. <laughs> what kind of bush was it? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen a bush like this before. <laughs> the leaves were a deep magenta, and it had soft pink flowers, with a delicate scent, reminiscent of sage and fennel. <laughs> Absa looks off and stares, starts daydreaming. <laughs> Absa? 
She is unresponsive. <laughs> Her, right? Like that's you haven't like talked to her at all. I I haven't you should talk... talk to the polar bear. I should talk to the polar bear? Okay, yeah. I can talk to the polar bear. <laughs> Alright. I'm glad you picked me, buddy. I got something I really need to talk to you about. You see, I've been meaning to talk to you about this thing. Oh dear, he's gonna walk around the whole dance issue for the entire thing, isn't he? Cause we've been getting close, you know? Yep. I mean, I don't have a lot of real friends here. I feel a bit more mature than the other students. <laughs> Which is why I feel like we really understand each other. Because you seem very mature. Yeah, he's gonna spend this entire period walking around <laughs> asking you to dance. And it's why I feel like I can tell you my secret. Yeah, I got a little secret. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> because we understand each other. <laughs> because we got this connection. <laughs> And because I think you can help me. Uh, Nathan, this polar bear is you. <laughs> because I think you'll want to help me. Because I'm just trying to do the right thing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> trying to make the world a better place. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's a hero's job. <laughs> And that's what my secret is. My job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a job. <laughs> but it's not at the skating rink or the ice cream parlor. <laughs> it's a different kind of job. <laughs> it's a job with a lot of stress. <laughs> stress like you wouldn't believe, kid. Kid! Long, long hours. School hours. That's what's hard about it. I gotta work while I'm at school. I'm working right now! Alright. Like a spy? Like a bear spy? Yeah. Or? I can't keep this up. I've gotta tell you my job. But you gotta promise that you're not gonna tell anybody. Okay? Promise? You you got that? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> okay. You see, the thing is... <laughs> I'm an undercover... <laughs> <laughs> I'm an undercover cap. <laughs> I'm only pretending to be a student. <laughs> I'm actually 36. <laughs> I have a family. <laughs> I'm working to post one of your cluster. <laughs> and I think I'm this freaking close. <laughs> Release a holy reign of terror on these unsuspecting hooligans. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they make me so bad with all their vitality. <laughs> with, with all their hope. <laughs> I just need one last piece of evidence before I can make my case. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a bitter boy. <laughs> and, and it's this kind of the keystone, and I can't, I can't get it. But I think you could. <laughs> Do you think you could help me get it? 
<laughs> it's really easy. <laughs> All I need you to do is wear the top mic <laughs> and ask Silvanos for some of those fitness <laughs> fitness protein powders he's always talking about. <laughs> he's trying to fight for me. <laughs> score 10,000 that time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> What the fuck just happened? <laughs> 36-year-old undercover polar bear. Somehow that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Without embarrassing myself too badly. As I said, that polar bear is totally you. <laughs> it won't sell to me because I'm white. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Swiftwing, on the other hand, doesn't look great snoozing at his desk. When the grumpy professor doesn't stir, Orkane gets that Orkane look in his eye. You know the one. <laughs> Suddenly, a spout of water shoots from its blowhole in a series of spirals and fractals that really don't seem physically possible and splat all over Professor Swiftwing, jarring him awake. I'm up, I'm up, I'm awake. I'm, uh, okay, yes. Uh, great work, everyone. Great work. I think it's uh, about time for class to finish. Great work, y'all. That's well. <laughs> Professor Swiftbrain promptly slumps back onto his desk and begins snoring so loudly that I can barely hear anyone talking. That's probably our cue to leave. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Bradshaw, just the person I was looking for. What's up, Silvanos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I heard you're on a mission. What ha what has he heard? Uh, not really. Just a regular day of school. <laughs> oh, really? Then I must have totally misheard when your best friend Atalas was saying to uh, was saying to me. Then, what did he say? Sylvanas leads in close, real close. He said, "You wanna get swole." <laughs> um. Oh, oh, yeah, you got something that could help me out with that? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Yeah, I've got stuff that's gonna give your muscles muscles. <laughs> I'm talking double muscles. Triple, triple density. Rip your heart out type muscles. I got stuff that'll turn your bones into unbreakable brass rods. <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> <laughs> and what are these things called? Out of curiosity. <laughs> Trip dicks, bipple mappers, tip toppers, darty dingle bats. Uh, and I got a funky swag nugget and three hearts of turtle drift drop if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, sounds tasty. I gotta get back to you on that, though, once I settle on my workout regimen. <laughs> smart, Bradshaw. I knew you were smart. That's why I think you're gonna want some of these Bipple Mappers. <laughs> when you're ready, of course. <laughs> Incriminating evidence acquired. <laughs> All right, serfs, I mean students, the school day is coming to a close. Head to your homeroom in an orderly and urgent fashion, and we'll wrap this thing up. <clears throat> Claren is off in the corner, messing with something in her bag. The lump in my throat rises as I start walking towards her, but I try to push it down with a drink of water. Hey, Bradshaw, what's up? I take a deep breath and force down the lump in my throat with the willpower I've got. Oh, here we go. Hey, Claren. I was kind of wondering if... 
if you want to go to the dance with me. What? What happened? Hey, you didn't say those, yams this time. Yeah, to all those sweet lines I rehearsed. The faux confidence I practiced in the mirror. I didn't even drop a sick neg on her. I blew it. <laughs> that sounds cool. Wait, did she just say yes? <laughs> hey! But, but there's something... Oh, Jesus. There's something I got to tell you first. <laughs> Claren sighs, fidgets with her bag nervously, and leans in close to me, whispering. This is gonna sound crazy, but bear with me, and don't let this get out. I'm trusting you with this because you're cool and kinda cute, okay? So, I'm actually from the future. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just call me cute? <laughs> yeah, that's what you focus on. A grim dystopian future where Principal Loxido, he's actually Emperor Loxido now, has taken over the Fire Empire and rules with an iron techno fist. I was sent to the past to destroy him before he gets too powerful. So, um, do you think you can help me? She thinks so cute. The, the school's PA system begins to crackle and the screech of microphone feedback pierces my ears. Is this thing on? Ahem. This is your esteemed and benevolent overlook principal, all Luxodont, vigorously reminding all students that there is to be no seditious conspiracies on school grounds. <laughs> all students found scheming will be given weekend detention and miss the homecoming dance. That is all. Crap, that's our cue. Hey, come with me. Okay. To the future. In one cool, quick motion, Claren flings her backpack over her shoulder and grabs my hand. This way! Hands clasped together, we bolt through the classroom door and down the hallway. Where is where it is she's leading me, I get the feeling it's going to be exciting. <laughs> Wait, was I a pig? <laughs> hey! Did I did I do good? Congratulations! All right, hey! Congratulations! Yay! Now you have to see if the polar bear will go out with you. Hey, Bradshaw, did you get the evidence? <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> You're not gonna go to dance. You're gonna get like paid. Just like you asked. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bradshaw. You have no idea how much this means to me. <laughs> I'm happy to help, at Dallas. Actually, I've got something you can help me out with. I need a date for the dance tonight. Want to come? <laughs> that makes the talus go beat red. <laughs> wow, Bradshaw, that sounds like fun. I had no idea you thought of me that way. I think a lot of things about you, Atalus. <laughs> Tell you what. Does he have a family? <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Let's do it. To heck with it. You only live once, right? My family can starve tonight. <laughs> 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 Got an achievement for it. Yep, I did. The icebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> so hey. <laughs> Deer Hunter says I'm pretty sure Zetterburn wants you to ask him to the dance. Oh really? Uh, okay. Oh uh, me really? I mean uh, my dandruff is ashes. It's really gross. <laughs> <laughs> really gross. <laughs> Seriously. Is that a rejection? <laughs> wow, this is kind of awkward. I've always thought of myself as your big bro. I can't even think of you that way. <laughs> not that you're not uh, attractive or whatever. It's just, uh... Ouch. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Double ouch. <laughs> hey, that corner over there looks really interesting. I think I'm gonna go moping it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear a group giggling nearby. I have no idea if they're laughing at me. 
but it sure feels that way. <laughs> you think I don't have a million chicorinos lined up to fly to the dance on me? <laughs> you think maybe perhaps if you wanted to front that line, you maybe should have talked to me a bit more? Gotten to know the <laughs> the real raster? <laughs> the real nah, raster. You just want to be arm candy. <laughs> but I'll tell you something, sugar. I don't care for sweets. <laughs> 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 well, that went several times worse than I could have imagined. <laughs> Looks like I'm skipping. <laughs> um, Bradshaw, I don't really think of you that way. Honestly, I don't really think about you at all. This is kind of out of the blue. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was stupid of me to ask. Ha, ha, ha. My life is over. I have never felt such embarrassment. I wish to be executed immediately. <laughs> Looks... Hey, Rano. Sweet kicks. He stops and looks at me. Gulp. <laughs> You're right. Thanks for noticing. No problem. So listen, I was thinking of asking you to go with me to the dance tonight. <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of something right now, Bradshaw. Oh. <laughs> it's kicking stuff. I'm busy kicking stuff right now. <laughs> like you said, I have sweet kicks. That's because I practice. I don't have time for a relationship. I'm already in a relationship with my kicks. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I'm thinking of tying the knot. Because they don't ever want to leave them to leave me. Gonna put a ring on one of these toes. Buy a house. Kick it down. <laughs> you, you see, Bradshaw? You just don't fit into that equation. I'm so sorry. Oh. It's no problem. That seems very... Complicated. <laughs> It's actually quite simple and pure and beautiful. <laughs> it's a perfect love I have for my kicks. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I best be going. <laughs> Why do I always pick the crazy ones? Looks like I'm skipping the dance this year. <laughs> Just <laughs> like I did last year. And the year before. <laughs> hey, Craig. Bradshaw, do you need something? A glass of water? <laughs> no thanks, I just wanted to ask you something. Sure, whatever you need to ask, I'll be happy to answer. Then you'll leave, yes? <laughs> Boy, this is going well. Uh, yeah, I guess if that's what you want. <laughs> So sorry if I'm presenting as rude, Bradshaw. It's just that I have many, many important matters to think about and discuss with my rocks. And every moment <laughs> that I'm away from them is a moment that I am wasting. <laughs> it's not personal, of course, but you are wasting my rock time, which is very dear to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is going terribly. Might as well just blurt it out. <laughs> Craig, will you go to the dance? <laughs> With me Wait, the hearts are already broken. <laughs> yeah, it started early. <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely. <laughs> Craig turns around in his seat and puts his ear on his back to his backpack, <laughs> listening to his rock. <laughs> Looks like I'm skipping the day. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure which one's worse, that or from the goat. I mean, I, I don't it, know. I mean, I, rejected for rocks is pretty <laughs> rough. Just said you were dumb, but being rejected for rocks is just yeah. Wow. That's yeah. Like you in real life, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I like the fact that this game doesn't sugarcoat it. 
Like, <laughs> like, no, like, usually people, you, but you know, you think about it, people usually play dating simulators to live vicariously through a computer game, kind of, you know, and this game says, no, you don't get off the hook, damn it, you also get to suck in this game, too. <laughs> this game is free, right? Yeah, it's free. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. Okay, let's see what happens with the whale. It's gonna have a whale of a good time. <laughs> I muster all my courage and pull up a seat next to him, doing everything I can to hide my nervousness. He's gonna teleport you to a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> hey Bradshaw, what you up to? Not too much. Well, actually, okay, that's a lie. I came over because I wanted to ask you something. Or Kane gives a little, grins a little and kicks up his feet on his desk. He has feet? Leaning back. <laughs> yeah. Take a seat. As soon as I sit down in the chair, an explosive fart sound erupts from beneath me. <laughs> I hop up, beat red, and look at my chair. There was a whoopee cushion. Or Kane cackles maniacally in his seat, almost knocking himself <laughs> backwards. You want him to ask me to the dance, right? Or Kane gets up, picks the carton of milk off his desk, and dumps it on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nah. <laughs> the whole class watches in shock as milk drips from my head. Humiliated, I try to slink back to my seat, but Orkane's not done yet. <laughs> he shoots a huge stream of water on me from his blowhole and starts laughing so hard he can barely breathe. Ha <laughs> ha! Smell you later, chump! <laughs> well, that was about the oh. most humiliating experience of my life. I think I'll spend the rest of it hiding under a rock. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Craig is going to take those rocks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dejected, I skulk back to my desk, pick up my bag, and beat a hasty retreat to the door until I slip on a banana peel. <laughs> I'm not even sure where it came from, <laughs> but I feel a cream pie alive in my face. <laughs> it would actually be pretty tasty if the salt from my tears didn't ruin it. I, <laughs> I lie on the floor, defeated forever. <laughs> I somehow survived. Or Kane's Rube Goldberg machine of a prank, but I'm sure my reputation didn't. Maybe I can transfer schools or something. Well, one thing's for sure, I won't be going to the dance with Then I get pied in the face again. Lemon meringue. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I think I want the rocks again. <laughs> 10, 11, 12. Okay, so out of the 12, I got two. <laughs> I made two of them work. So, there you go, folks. That's Lovers of Ether. Um, uh, maybe you should try it for yourself. And Not that you need to anymore, because Nathan just failed miserably. <laughs> if you would like to not suck at a game, try it yourself. <laughs> I, I have certainly run out of my suckiness for the night. And I feel like I am ending on a low note, which is good for me. It also seems very on brand. So It's definitely on brand. Yes, it is definitely on brand. I love the polar bear undercover cop. He's the, he, is the, <laughs> he is the surprise of the thing. And my God, it's the greatest <laughs> moment ever. <laughs> That's the best part. I literally just thought he was going to try and ask you to dance for the whole time and, and just then, like, never get around to and it. Then and then all of a sudden... I'm an undercover cop. <laughs> and 
then that happens and you're like, oh, God damn it. Um, so thank you, DC, for, uh, for recommending I do that. Um, aren't you glad you, you, you mentioned that? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Wh whatever I can do to help yeah. entertain. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> well, that was certainly, um, you know what? I think it lives up to its psychological horror tag. <laughs> it definitely does. It was mostly the uh, the the hilariousness that Arcane made you go through, <laughs> <laughs> or just the idea like I cannot date a brick, or the idea that I got passed over for stones, or <laughs> yeah, or that I got banned from mozzarella sticks. That is psychological horror. That's psychological abuse right there. Or. The or that apparently the frog would rather marry his foot, his kicks, his sweet kicks, than me. Yes. <laughs> Man. Okay.